Hi, welcome to Pixel Village. My name is Ravi Dhingra. I'm a lifestyle photographer based out of New Delhi. I specialize in interiors and architectural photography. I do a lot of product, food and uh, people photography also. So a uh, lot of photographers face this problem when they are taking pictures of products or uh, when they are doing food shots, they use different objects of different shapes and different sizes. Like if I say pick up these two things out here, one is smaller than the other, bottle is larger and the cup is smaller. So when you do, uh, when the shot is taken, sometimes it appears that the cup and bottles are of the same size. Or if you have three products, something like three cups of the same size, they should appear of the same size in your photographs. One should not look, look bigger than the other. So, and also the shape of the object, the bottle has been designed in a certain shape, the cup has been designed in a certain shape. So the shape of the object should not get distorted in your photographs. So today's session is all about getting the right perspective and the right shape in your photographs. So we have created a small setup here. I am using three cups here which are exactly identical. They have the same shape, same color. Everything is same here, the pattern, everything is same here. And we have a small wooden base here, which is going to just add some character to the whole situation, so whole setting out here. I'm using the continuous available light here. And uh, I'm going to take two shots, one at wide angle lens and one at telephoto lens. First wide angle lens, which is approximately 18 mm focal lens, equivalent to 27 mm uh, focal length on a full frame camera. Another picture I am going to take at around 70 mm focal length. My camera is a crop sensor camera. So 70 mm becomes roughly approximately 105 mm for a full frame camera. So approximately 100 mm focal length. One will be shot at around 27 mm focal length and one will be shot at approximately 100 mm focal length. I am creating three levels here. Placing the cups in three levels here, three planes are getting created. This particular cup, first cup comes closest to my camera. And this particular goes away from the farthest from the camera. So let's take the shots and see how it works. So first shot is being taken at around 18 mm, which is equivalent to 27 mm in a full frame camera body. I just need to do some fine tuning, bit of fine tuning here, so that the difference is obvious in the photograph. So I'm going very close, almost at the minimum focusing distance here. Yeah. This looks good. I'm going to go back now and take the same shot at around 70 mm focal length. Yeah, this is good. So let's see these pictures on the desktop on the computer, how the perspective has changed when I'm closer and I'm using a divide angle lens. And when I move further away and use a telephoto lens at a distance, at a distance of around four to five feet from the products. Now I've copied both the images on the computer one picture which was taken at 18 mm on my camera, which is equivalent to 20 mm on a full frame camera. And the other images which was as, which was taken at around 70 mm focal length, equivalent to 105 mm approximately on a full frame camera. If I see the left image out here, then the first cup appears to be very big and the last cup, which is away from the camera looks very small. Uh, there's a reason for that. The thing is that I went too close to the subject. And the optical principle is that things which are near the camera appears to be bigger than which things which are away from the camera. In the shot where I use 70 mm focal length, I was away from the subject, almost four to five feet away from the subject. So I was able to get a good balance in the perspective. So in this picture, which was taken at 70 mm focal length, the cups are looking perfectly fine. Even the shape and the size they look very identical. There's not much difference in the photographs. But in the picture which is taken at 18 mm focal length, the obvious, the difference is too obvious. And the wide angle has even like, it was since it was 18 mm, it's a wide angle lens. If it, the wide angle lens is not used properly, it has a tendency to distort the subject. That's why the picture on the right side, which is taken at 70 mm, that's the way you should be taking the picture from a distance and using a telephoto lens. So it is very important to keep these things in mind by not going too close to the subject and using the correct focal length 
to capture because when we talk of product photography, food photography, the scaling is very important. How you use different props, they, the different props have a particular size. So they should look the way they are, there should not be any distortion in your photographs. So practice this part where you take pictures at different focal lengths and try it yourself that at what particular focal length you are able to get that perfect shot where all the equal sized objects they look the same. I hope you find the video informative and if you have liked the video kindly share it with your friends and uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye for now.